When I thought of Stockholm, a lot came to mind regarding the Scandinavian lifestyle. The timeless fashion scene, the endless amount of nature, their great biking history, and of course, midsummer. But what I didn't know yet and was about to discover was the Swedish lifestyle of incorporating fika into your life. This is to really take a moment to slow down and appreciate all the good things in life with a cup of coffee. I got to indulge in this a lot on this trip and I've never felt more grateful. I was definitely in need of a much needed getaway. As I wandered through the halls, each photograph told a unique story. It really immersed me in a world of emotions and perspectives. One of my favorite signs at this exhibition that really got me thinking read the following. Nature is an enigma, strong and superior, yet fragile and ephemeral. Pruned or untamed, it is influenced and changed by human touch. Bright and beautiful, but at the same time, wild, dark and threatening. It is a sacred sanctuary from which everyone has evolved. After immersing ourselves in art, we were feeling a bit thirsty and decided to indulge in some refreshing bubble tea. It was the perfect pick-me-up before our next spot. We then attended a ballet show of Romeo and Juliet at the Royal Swedish Opera. This opera building stands tall with its rich history and its grandeur really left us all in awe. The city is also renowned for its impressive street art and you'll find incredible murals adorning the subway stations. It is really a testament to Stockholm's known artistic culture. The next day, after admiring all the underground art, we then enjoyed some ramen and with our bellies full, we decided to do some shopping.
And of course, no visit to Stockholm is complete without experiencing fika. So I had my first fika, the iconic Vettekatten. So as we took our first bites of freshly baked goodies, I couldn't help but appreciate the tradition and coziness that filled the air. We then took a stroll through the charming old town with its cobblestone streets and colorful facades. The city itself is a blend of historical beauty and modern vibrancy with captivating architecture at every turn. Once back at home, we decided to end the day with a barbecue in our own backyard. The aroma of sizzling food filled the air as we savored the flavors of a nice home-cooked meal. Sending fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You are my the next morning, we started off the day with a visit to get some much needed coffee. We savored every sip while strolling towards Ivolo Spark, a tranquil oasis in the heart of the city. This peaceful spot provides us with the perfect setting to enjoy Fika and lose ourselves in the pages of our books. Tell me think about inside the walls. Words go deep, it's like a swallow. Making me better, you hotter than pepper. You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar, mm hmm, mm hmm. All of these women, they not on your level, mm hmm, mm hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure, mm hmm, mm hmm. You a move by you giving scene of views. I'm just saying, I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. Then you cool, tatted it up, cover warm, different vibe, you know, ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing. But you ain't even flexing. But you ain't even flexing. The following day, we decided to take it easy and soak up the sun in our own backyard. Soaking up all the warmth and tranquility, it was the perfect opportunity to relax, spend time with family, and dive right back into my book. Whilst lying in the sun, I let the gentle breeze carry me away as I relished every moment, feeling really grateful for this escape from the hustle of everyday life.
In the afternoon, we venture to a national park where towering trees, shimmering lakes, and scenic trails embraced us, inviting us to explore. We took one of the short hiking trails to a spot to have our dinner. There we made a fire and enjoyed well-deserved burgers cooked in the outdoors until the sun dipped below the horizon. As darkness fell, we made our way back home. It was the perfect way to end my first few days of this Stockholm adventure. Stay tuned for part two of my Stockholm Chronicles, and I'll see you again real soon.